All right, thanks for watching. And today I wanna to do something really neat that I got inspired from, from Black Pen, Red Pen's channel. I remember he talked about some sort of matrix. I know it's been a long time, but that led me to the following idea. What, do you ha what if you have what I call the magic matrix, which is a three by three matrix whose row sum equals to the column sums, equals to the diagonal sums, equals to a fixed constant. So that's what I like to call sort of matrix tic-tac-toe. And the question is, what do those matrices look like? How can we find all those matrices? So, again, the goal is we want all the rows, all the columns, and all the diagonals to sum to a fixed constant k. Well, we have to start with something. So let A be the first entry, and then we have so many other choices. So let B be the second entry, and um, one more entry, I promise, that's all we need. Another entry C, and remember, we want the sums to be a fixed constant, call this K. So first of all, we need the first row to sum to K, which means that this plus this plus something equals k, so that something is k minus a minus b. So that's the first requirement. And then let's go, for example, diagonally. So we have a plus c plus something equals k, so that's k minus a minus c. And then, I need to in my notes to remember the order, because I tried that 10,000 times and it never work. So, and then this vertical sum, we want to sum it to k. So b plus c plus something equals k. So k minus b minus c. And then, so we did this column, this row. Now let's just complete this row. So we want this to sum to k. So first of all, uh, um, wait, oh. All right, no problem. <laughs> this is not quite correct what I wrote. But uh, let's see, wait. Okay. Uh, <laughs> All right, makes sense. So uh, now, for example, let's take the diagonal in this case. So we want it to sum to k, and then uh, the only choice that makes it true, so here we always also have a k, so we'd like an a to cancel out, a b to cancel out, and a minus c to cancel out. So we get this diagonal sum is a plus b minus c. And you'll see, in fact, this C is redundant. We'll be able to solve it in terms of A and B. Okay, now let's continue. Let's, for example, do this column sum. So, no, we're almost done. So, now we have an A, we have an A. To make the A's cancel out, we need a minus 2A. To make the B cancel out, we get minus B and then plus C. And we want this to sum to k, so we have this big sum, minus 2a minus b plus c plus k, almost like Louis C.K. And um, then let's continue, we still have this column, so uh, we want the a's to cancel out, there are two of them, so 2a, and then a b to cancel out, plus b plus c, and then minus k. Indeed, you can verify that this uh, column sum is also k. And what have we done so far? So we took this diagonal, then, uh, sorry, oh no, we took this row, and then this diagonal, and then we took, uh, I think, this column, and then we took this row, and I think the only thing left is maybe this one. So what we get is, indeed, this is already satisfied. So a plus c plus k minus a minus c, that's fine. And then, um, now let's do the 
what's important is, we, even though this is complete, we still have two more rows to check out. And with those two rows, we get that uh, we can solve for C in terms of K. For example, what does this last row say? It says that A plus B plus C, uh, so A plus B minus C plus K minus B minus C plus K minus A minus C. We want it to sum to K and do a bunch of cancellations. So the B's cancel out and then I think that A's cancel out and then one, no, the C's do not cancel out, but one of the K's cancels out. So what we get is minus 3C plus K equals zero. So since K is fixed, we then just get 3C is K, so C is K over three. So in fact, uh, in all those things, now we can just replace C with K over three and also, I think the very last thing to check is this row. And it turns out with our value for C, we do get our cancellation. So minus 2A minus B plus C plus K plus C plus 2A plus B plus C minus K. Then what we get? We have this cancellation and then this cancellation and this cancellation. And we still get 3C equals K. Sorry, um, write something. Yeah, that equals K. Yeah, sorry. And then uh, 3C equals K. So C equals K over 3. So we have checked all our things. So it turns out the answer to our magic matrix then becomes as follow. It's simply A, B, K minus A minus B, minus 2A minus B plus C plus K. So K over three plus K, that's four K over three. Then C, which is K over three, and then 2A plus B, C minus K becomes a minus 2K over three. So 2A plus B minus 2K over three. And then A plus B minus K over three. And then 2K over three minus B because K minus C is 2K over three. And then K minus C, A minus C is 2K over three minus A. And we get this matrix. Let me write it down in a neater fashion. We get, again, A minus 2A minus B plus 4K over 3. Okay. Uh, A plus B minus K over 3. B, K over 3. 2K over 3 minus B. K minus A minus B. 2a plus b minus 2k over 3 and 2k over 3 minus a and you can indeed check that the sums they're all equal to um, k so you see a plus b plus k minus a plus b that is k and then here two a's cancel out b's cancel out and then we get 5k over 3 minus 2k over 3 which is k here a's cancel out b cancel out 4k over 3 minus k over 3, that's k, etc, etc. So this is the answer to our magic matrix. And lastly, I just want to give you a couple of examples of what this looks like. If you let a equals 1, b equals 0, k equals 3, then it turns out you get the matrix 1, 0, 2, 2, 1, 0, 0, 2, 1. So a matrix whose rows, sums, and columns add up to three. Cool, huh? Or what if you have this? So it's also a cute example I thought of. A equals one, B equals one, K equals three. Then it turns out you get the matrix one, 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 one. Neat, huh? Okay, just two more examples. So what if, it's also very nice. 
A equals zero, B equals one, K equals zero. So sort of think zero sum games, then you get zero, one, minus one, minus one, zero, one, one, minus one, zero. Probably useful in game theory, I don't know. But here is also my favorite example. Suppose k is 15, a equals 2, b equals 7. Then it turns out you get the following. 2, 7, 6, 9, 5, 1, 4, 3, 8. Which is a matrix, again, whose row sum, column sum, diagonal sum is all the same. And you use all the integers from 1 to 9. So this is something called the mag magic square. So I think in that way you can also um, generate magic squares. So I think that's really cute. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.